Now, the scholars of Sikhism, they say that in one, in, in one aspect, Sikhism opposed Hinduism um, um, mainly about uh, in terms of idol worship, in terms of polytheism, believing in multiple gods, in terms of uh, having a caste system, and in terms of believing in Vedas to be the uh, divine revelation. But on the other hand, um, Sikhism seems to be very much influenced by Islam and its teachings. For example, you see the uh, Sikh community members, um, especially the scholars, they're leaving long beards, very similar to what the Muslim scholars used to do uh, and still do till today. Um, and, and further, the name of God, the names of God included are very similar to the names of God given to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in the Arabic language. Further, we see that the way to worship God, the way to worship God in Sikh religion is also uh, something which seems to be uh, taken from the Islamic form of uh, Salah which is to bow down and to prostrate. So when you prostrate, you put your face down on the ground and you hold yourself with the hands. This is exactly what the Sikh uh, uh, worshippers do when they go to the Gurudwara, to the Sikh temple, and they worship or they pray, they bow down in front of the Almighty God. Now, it is also uh, interesting to see that when a Sikh person enters Gurudwara, they do some sort of ablution. Uh, this is very similar to what the Muslim uh, religious people do as wudu before the salah. This is also uh, embedded within the Sikh uh, uh, worshipping uh, approach. You also see that the Sikh community is very popularly known as to run uh, something called langar. Uh, which is run from the Gurudwara, the Sikh temple, which is a, a kitchen run from the religious temple uh, to feed anyone and everyone who visits the temple. So interestingly, this was a very common um, practice amongst the Muslims in India as well in elsewhere in the world. That is the religious places were used as a kitchen to feed the poor and the needy of the, of the community. Uh, so in India, what you have amongst the Sufis, you have something which is called Dargah, a grave on which is built an entire place of worship. Uh, although from an Islamic perspective, this is prohibited, this is not permissible, rather this is considered to be a form of associating partners in worship of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So based on the teachings of the Quran and the teachings of Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa this is uh, not permissible, this is prohibited uh, and um, illegal form of worship uh, which is close to shirk and the Islamic scholars have spoken against it. Although the, however, the Indian subcontinent had a large influence of the Sufi sect uh, within India, which is also known as a Barelvi uh, ideology. And they have what you call as Dargah, which was obviously prohibited by Prophet ﷺ when he said that curse be on those who make the grave a place of worship of their uh, followers. So this is not permissible from an Islamic perspective. However, the time does not permit us to go into the detail of that uh, because what we are discussing here is the similarity where Sikhism has been influenced by the Muslim practice of the Indian subcontinent of that time. So the langar where the Sikh community gives free food to uh, people of all walks of life, it was also a very common practice at all the dargahs in India which was copied from the uh, Islamic teachings from the time of the Khulafa. For example, Umar radiallahu and the second Khalifa of Islam in Masjid al-Nabawi, the second uh, holiest place of Islam, Umar radiallahu and during his um, caliphate, he started to bring the poor and the needy people uh, in Medina to come and live, stay and have food in Masjid al-Nabawi. So a portion of Masjid al-Nabwi was extended in order to accommodate the homeless, the poor and the needy and to look after their affairs and to provide them with the food was what was Masjid al-Nabwi doing. This was the practice of the Sunnah of the Khulafa al-Rashidun from uh, the Islamic perspective and then later on carried on by the Sufis of India and then it seems to be influencing the, uh, the Sikh uh, community's uh, leadership that is the Gurus, the spiritual leaders of the Sikh religion and they followed it as well. However, there are certain, um, what you call, um, beliefs of Sikhism, which are amalgamation from Islamic perspective and from Hindu religious perspective as well. For example, the marriage, the, the rituals of death, um, and, and the belief of incarnation that humans are reborn. All of these still seem to be uh, very much inculcated in the Sikhism uh, belief uh, because it was no less an offshoot of Hinduism. At, uh, to a certain extent, but also influenced by Islam. So in short, as some of the scholars of theology have pointed out, that Sikhism seems to be an amalgamation of Islam and some of the teachings of Hinduism put together.